welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dinner and Dessert. My name's Kathy. Today we're gonna make cookies. This is a shout out to Tina, Capri, and Ryland. They wanted to know how to make some cookies, so we're gonna do caramel tassies today. Let's get baking. Two cups of flour. We are gonna need six ounces of cream cheese. On the side of our cream cheese, there are lines telling us where each ounce is. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're gonna cut it right there. Six ounces of cream cheese, a stick and a half of butter. We're gonna need a caramel tassie pan. This we don't need, but I like it. It is to put our little wells in our caramel tassies. But I'll show you how to do it by hand also if you do not have one of those. And we're gonna need our mixer. You can use a hand mixer or the KitchenAid, whatever you have. Okay, so we're gonna put all our ingredients, which is the six ounces of cream cheese, two cups of flour, and it's a good idea to have the cream cheese and the butter at room temperature. It just makes it easier for the dough to mix together. A stick and a half of butter goes in. And we're gonna start that on on low. <laughs> it never fails. So this is the way, once it's combined, we wanna turn it up on high so that it starts to form into a ball. starting to stick together and that's what you want and once it looks like this we can stop it so our next step is to preheat our oven we're going to preheat it to 350 and while that's preheating we're going to start forming our little caramel tassie balls so our balls for the caramel tassie are going to be about that large it's going to go into there and we're gonna do all of them until we fill up our little caramel tassie pan. And they don't need to be greased or floured or anything. You just put them in like that. I got three dozen bowls out of our caramel tassie dough. And now I'm gonna show you how to form them. Now, you can take your finger and you're just gonna twirl it around in there and you're gonna stretch it out and form it to the caramel tassie pan. That's one way of doing it. Now, I make cookies for graduations and weddings and stuff like that. So I like using this little guy. This is a tool that you can get from any cake decorating place. Walter Drake, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a little gadget company and they have um, catalogs and this is where I got this. Oh, our oven is ready. That's a beeping. So this is the way you use this. This is so easy. You're going to put it in the flour like that and just press it in there and look at that. Perfect. So that is why I like this. And we're going to do that to each one of our little caramel tassy dough balls. Okay, we're going to dip this in flour after each little well that we make just to make sure it doesn't stick. If you're using this, this is the way you want to do it, and this is the way they're going to look. And now we're going to put this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, there goes our timer. 
We're going to take our caramel tassies out. Well, they're not caramel yet, but they are tassies. This is what they're going to look like. So I'm going over to the other counter because the next step on our tassies is going to be to make our wells again. And we're just going to give it a little push. And actually, we could even just get it out of there and put it onto our rack for cooling. Now, if you do not have this little tool, you have to have a little round thing because they're hot. And give it a little push just to make your well a little bit deeper than it is. Now we're going to start round two of our tassies. And I don't suggest that you wear a shirt like this when you're making tassies. <laughs> and we're going to put those in. And now we're going to start the wells in this bunch of tassies. Okay, now these are going to go into the oven for 20 minutes. Our next set of ingredients is going to be for the filling of the caramel tassies. We need a half a cup of evaporated milk and an 11 ounce bag of caramels. I like the craft. And we're going to put everything into our pot because we're going to heat this on low. And of course, we have to unwrap every caramel. <laughs> And we're going to melt it, and that's what's going to be our filling for our caramel tassies. So I'm going to get to unwrapping these, and I'll be back as soon as I'm finished. All right. Our caramel tassies are coming out of the oven. And over to here. Now we have all of our uh, caramels and we put them in here. So we're gonna put this over the heat and we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on medium and we have to melt this. So we're just gonna keep moving it around so that nothing burns. Now it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm still moving our caramels around. Now, I just wanted to show you, this is what I'm going to use to pour my caramels in because once I start pouring them into the tassie dough, I like the little lip. It, it's, it makes it easier to pour and to stop it from the, ta you know, too much caramel going into each tassie. Okay, our mixture is starting to boil a little, so I'm going to turn it down in between medium and low. I don't want it to burn, but I do want it to melt. We're getting to the consistency we need. We're not quite there yet. As you can see, there's a few little lumps. We're gonna keep going until there are no lumps in our sauce. Okay. We're at the consistency we need. As you can see, there are no lumps in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into this because this is the easiest way to get it into our tassies. Now, if you have a candy um, mold, uh, or well, it's a bottle for candy to put chocolate in, you can use that and squeeze it up, but um, this is the way I like doing it. Now we're gonna come over and we're gonna start pouring, I guess before we get this onto the floor, <laughs> we're gonna start pouring into our tassie wells. And we're just gonna do a little bit and it's going to take, we're going to take our time. We're not going to rush because it drips all over. And it's going to take you a little bit to get it, you know, to the right so that you're not dripping it all over the place because it, you know, I've been doing this for a while. So it might be a little bit messier for you the first time you do it. And just take your time because you could always heat this up a little bit in the microwave. It get, 
if it starts getting too thick and you can't get it into the um, into the tassie wells okay I'm on my last caramel tassie and it's starting to thicken up we're just gonna shake it in a little bit and I am going to show you now nobody's perfect and when you get the caramel on just get a paper towel wipe the side because you're not going to be perfect doing this especially not the first time okay before we do our next step we're going to let our caramel tassies cool because we have to put our little topping on and we don't want it melting because of the hot caramel so we're just going to let these sit for about an hour We're gonna need two thirds cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of shortening, one stick of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two thirds cup of evaporated milk, and it's the milk that we used earlier. We can use the rest of it from that can, although you're not gonna use the whole can. There's still some left. And that is gonna be for our icing, our frosting. So, I'm going to start adding it, and it's always a good idea to make your butter room temperature because it blends better. Okay, we're going to turn that on now, and we're going to get that mixed really well. We're not putting our evaporated milk in just yet. We want to get this mixed first. Scrape our sides, and it looks like it's mixed pretty good. So we're gonna turn it on low, and we're gonna just add a little bit of milk at a time. Just a little bit at a time, so that it all gets mixed. We don't want it too liquidy. We want it to mix well. So we're gonna turn it up now. So we're gonna keep going with our evaporated milk. Every once in a while stop and scrape the sides. And we're gonna do this slowly because we don't want it splashing everywhere and it mixes better when you put a little bit in it at a time. And this is a really good light frosting for your caramel tassies. Um, it's similar to, a, uh, to the filling of a lady lock real light and not too sugary sweet okay we're gonna scrape our sides now and then we're gonna put this on and we're gonna let it beat for at least five minutes we want it to be nice and light and fluffy put it on high because i'm a very impatient person and i like it to mix quickly okay i think we're about finished with beating our frosting so we're gonna get it out now this is what you want it to look like nice and thick but yet airy and light at the same time okay so I'm gonna put this into a piping bag and my tip is a flower tip I like this kind of tip because I think the design is very pretty so let's get this into the bag if you don't have a piping bag um, you can probably use a plastic bag with a tip in it you're just gonna have to watch if it the, you know that it doesn't break open on you but it's always better to get a piping bag if you are able to so we are gonna start decorating our tassies
And as you can see, I don't have a very steady hand, but it comes off fine. And it looks very pretty and it tastes so good. Now, this is a great cookie to make and it freezes well. But what you wanna do when you freeze it, you wanna layer it like this into a, a some kind of sealable container a Tupperware or something and freeze it for about an hour and then you can put uh, wax paper or parchment paper on top and start your next layer and then freeze those for an hour before you add any every time you add a layer always freeze it at least an hour so that it doesn't smash the pretty little design on top thank you for watching my youtube channel dinner and dessert and if you like the caramel tassie recipe, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to be doing more cookies in the future, so stay tuned. Thanks.